Okay, hello, here's my Technics 1200 MK2. I'm going to play the record. I'm going to test it out and make sure everything is fully functional. Uh, beautiful unit, no DJ use at all. It's been in a living room for years. Sounds amazing and it's in fantastic shape. There's a couple tiny scratches, couple stains. You can see those in the pictures. Uh, I've I'm gonna I'm going to upload like 30 pictures. I'm gonna post them on my Facebook page. It's called Techniques Melancholic. So please make sure you, you check that out. It's a page on Facebook. And check my feedback. I'm a serious seller. The turntable is in beautiful conditions. Uh, I already uh, mounted a cartridge and hooked the cables. The cables are in great, great shape. These are the cables. Look at those cables. This is the ground. This is the original ground, original cables. Beautiful shape. I'm just going, going to uh, turn it on. Make sure everything is functional. This rubber mat kind of uh, weights a little bit more. You know, if you're going to use a, a, a thin fabric uh, slit mat, you know, it'll it'll stop and start faster. But this is a a little like a little bit heavier than the normal rubber mats so works works pretty good pitch is really nice there's just a little nick here you know there's stain here uh, I, I don't know if you can clean that up but I'm, I'm not gonna do anything to the front table here's a little ding right here you can see that right there on the pitch I will explain that on the list there's a couple stains here. These stains are typical stains caused by the dust cover. You know, the dust cover, it, it's been on top of the plinth for, for a long time and there's no rubber rubber pieces here. You know, these little rubber pieces, you know. Uh, so this is just typical on a, on a turntable that, uh, that's been sitting for years. This is caused by the dust cover right here. There's a lot of stains. There's more like scratches. On the dust cover, there, there's no cracks, nothing like that. There's just these scratches. There, there are no stains. You might, you might be able to remove these scratches a little bit, not completely. If you use some uh, car uh, or, or headlight uh, polish, you know, for vehicles or things like that. Check my dust cover policy. It's on the list. And uh, yeah, like I've mentioned, a uh, couple stains, little tiny dings and things like that. Uh, uh, the stains you you might be able to remove those stains is probably because it's been it's been sitting for for a long time. It's in beautiful beautiful shape. This is a little bit heavy, you know. Starts and stops pretty good. Thirty three, forty five, thirty three pretty good 45 it see how nice it stops and and stars and you know it's, it's just in great shape uh, just let me pop out light okay just I'm gonna I'm gonna just take this off I'm not gonna use this I'm gonna use a thin one oh well, it doesn't matter I'll, I'll use one I'll use this one I'll use that one okay here's a record The turntable is well damped. It's really, really nice. It's really smooth. Really nice. Look at that. Well damped.
works really nice. Day three. pretty good it's in fantastic shape it's a really really nice turntable a no DJ user at all absolutely never just used by an audio pile by a record collector let me show you the let me show you the serial number so you you can make sure that this is the one that uh, that's for sale. Just bear with me for one second, please. I'll show you the serial number. The cables are in great shape. Everything's in great shape. So there's nothing that you have to worry about. So check my feedback, check check my Facebook page and have a wonderful day. Take care. <laughs>